Hello and welcome to another video. I thought this would be fun. I'm going to share with you today three of my favorite ways to use ChatGPT for busy moms. Now I've done a couple of videos when it comes to homeschooling, how to use this tool. And of course there's no shortage of ways that you could use this tool for that. Everything from creating your own curriculum, book lists, vocabulary from the books, book tests. It can give you feedback on writing. You can create report cards and transcripts. I mean, it's, it's amazing what you could do with this. So in fact, I am going to create that course that I talked about. I will leave a link down below a whole like basically how to homeschool for free with chat gpt course but i'm also going to include bonus content a little bit like this just other ways that it could be like your own personal assistant for busy moms i'm going to show you in this video how i use it for meal planning how it saves me time and money and fully customized to my family preferences. I'm also going to show you how I use it to create a capsule wardrobe, how it saves me money when it comes to clothes and gives me endless uh, outfit ideas, as well as one of the ways that I used it to find my dream remote from home position when it comes to customizing cover letters with your resume in a second. I mean, it's truly an amazing tool. So I'm going to add bonus content like that to the course and other health and fitness you can create your own customized fitness plans and workout plans it's it's amazing but anyhow i could talk hours about the subject which is why i'm going to create the course but here we go we're going to go with the little three fun ways i like to use it in this video i have the free version here but i have upgraded i think it's like eight to twelve dollars but everything i'm going to show you you can do with the free version um, i use it every day and i use it for work so i upgraded like i said it's the best investment it's like your own personal assistant for eight dollars a month or whatever it is but uh with chat gpt4 if you do upgrade it has added features now where you can upload graphs or you can use plugins that actually crawl the web live so you don't have any limitations i think the date is like 2021 or something you can crawl the live web but we're just going to use a free version here and what you do is you prompt it and it's all about what you prompt it you get what you put into it so when it comes to menu planning i'm going to just pause it so i can type everything out and you can see how this works Okay, so I prompted it, please give me a menu plan for three meals a day for a family of eight that is affordable, tasty, and healthy, avoiding dairy. That's just our preference. Please use mostly chicken and ground beef for meat. So just going to input that and it's going to give me the menu plan right there. We got a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now let's say there's a recipe you don't like. Um, I kind of like all of these, but you could just say replace the breakfast for day seven um, with a crock pot, crock pot, crock pot oatmeal recipe. You could even put like pumpkin oatmeal recipe or whatever. I mean, it will give you exactly what you want. It gave me exactly what I wanted right here. Okay, so now I'm going to say, um, please create the ingredient list for the whole week. And you can, I'll, I'll show you how you can copy and paste this really easily. So it's gonna categorize everything for me, the whole list. Now, uh, if you scroll up here, this little clipboard thing, you can copy it. It will copy everything. And then you can just paste this on a Google Doc or something. So I've got here the ingredient. But what if I need the recipes for all of these, right? So I will say, please, I always just say, please give me the recipes for all the meals. And it's going to take a while because it's going to give me all the recipes. And it's, again, customizing it to a family of eight. And it's also taking into account my dietary preferences, what we like to eat. And if there's anything you don't like, you can ask it to change it. Another way that I like to use this is, let's say for example, this is a true example. I got a huge bag of cod fish at Sam's and now I don't know what to do with it, right? So I could say, uh, please give me a list of recipe ideas for cod that is Q 
kid friendly. Sorry, I'm typing fast. So I'm going to even if you misspell a ton, it still understands you. So, okay, so it gave me baked cotton nuggets, fish tacos. It's giving me a lot here. Ooh, coconut crusted cod, teriyaki cod stewards. I would have never thought to do this, but uh, one pan lemon herb cod. So perfect. And let's say I want the fish taco recipe. Well, that's pretty easy. Let's say I want to do the uh, this one. Oh, you know what? I've never made chowder ever in my life. So, and it's giving me a dairy-free option, which is nice. So I will say, please give me the recipe for this meal. And this reminds me of a great website. I don't know, it's not around anymore. Or it's very spammy now. It was super cook and you could input the ingredients that you already had and it would give you a list of recipes that included that. So it's giving me that. So let's say uh, I say I have tomatoes, mozzarella. No, not mozzarella. I'm thinking of a salad. I have tomatoes, pasta, herbs. What can I make for dinner? and tomato or pasta. And so you could do this with whatever you have in your fridge that you need to use up before you go grocery shopping again. Uh, you can incorporate that and it will just save you money when it comes to the meal planning and the ingredient list. So you could say, this is all that I have in my pantry, in my fridge. Can you create meals around this with the minimal amount that I need to purchase? You could see how this could really save you money. And again, you can customize it to be gluten-free, whatever you want. So that's one way to use it. Um, again, it'll do the ingredients for you. It'll give you all the recipes. I use this all the time, like last minute. What, give me a, I'll do something like this. Give me a simple, fast meal I can make with chicken breasts in the instant pot. And it'll give me ideas. This is great, like on a Wednesday night before you go to church or if you're going to, like we go to the library at 4.30. I kind of want us to eat before then, but I also want it to uh, stay warm in case they want to eat after the library. So this is how I use it. it. saves me so much time, money. All right, let's move on to number two, creating a capsule wardrobe. So I've done this before. I'm going to give you the condensed version here, but what you want to do is input all of the clothing that you have, which is going to take maybe a little bit depending on how many how much clothes you have. But you want to also include your shoes and your purses and your jewelry if you really wanted to give you like outfit descriptions, right? I'm going to pause it so I can type in a good amount of clothing and then you'll see how this works. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't input a whole lot, but I put, please create a capsule wardrobe with the following items. And I took the easy route, pleated skirts in the colors, which I do have pleated skirts in all these colors. Um, I kind of have my own standard uniform. White button up, short sleeve shirts, dresses, v-necks. I put in some shoes. I'm also going to, it's really important to add maybe like outerwear, a black blazer, black leather jacket, blue denim jacket, blue cardigan, okay? So then it's going to categorize everything for me. And again, you can copy and paste this. It's already starting to give me outfit ideas. So now I'm going to write, first of all, this is a great way to save me money. Um, are there any gaps in my wardrobe? What should I consider buying? So instead of going to the store, going to Goodwill and just buying a ton of random stuff, right? What is actually missing in your wardrobe? And it'll give you good ideas, like basic t-shirts. And you could tell it like, I don't want jeans or whatever, classic white sneakers, a versatile midi skirt, trench coat, great. So now I'm going to say, give me 10 church outfits based on my capsule wardrobe and it's going to give me i just copy and paste these into a google document and seriously i have like 30 pages because i'll do this with give me 10 date night outfits give me 10 more casual 
Wednesday night church outfits is a little different than Sunday mornings and the evening, right? Uh, give me 10 casual outfits to run errands. Like I type all of those. Give me 10 date night outfits based on my capsule wardrobe. And the more you put in like jewelry and handbags, the more different combinations obviously you're going to have. But sophisticated charm, timeless beauty, it gives you even little uh, headlines for each one. So let's do another one. Give me 10 work casual outfits or 10 Aaron outfits or whatever. So there we go. It's going to give you that. And it's got the shoes, cardigan, everything. Great. So now another way that you can use this, let's say you're going to a baby shower and you're, you want different ideas than what you have, right? Uh, can you give me three suggestions for, um, baby shower outfit ideas with you know skirts or dresses only uh, for outside 80 degree weather in florida i don't know like you can it, again it's all about how you prompt it the more specific you get the better so here we have floral and breezy a floral wrap dress in a pastel color with nude sandals, a wide brimmed sun, uh, complete the look with the dainty gold hoop earrings and a woven clutch. That's a beautiful outfit right there. It's just something that I wouldn't, I don't have the eye for to put together outfits like that. And you can use this as a business. If you're trying to help other people put together outfit ideas or help them shop, this is such a great tool. Now I can customize this even more. Now I'd say, uh, can you alter this list to flatter an inverted triangle shape? So that's my body shape and not everything works for me, right? So again, it's all about what you prompt it with. And so it's going to give me, and yes, like midi skirt, that's better for, um, to create a little bit more volume on the bottom to match. So it's right on, pair it with espadrille wedges to add height without emphasizing the shoulders. I mean, it gets it, <laughs> it knows. So again, another really helpful tool to help you save money, know how to shop and give you endless outfit ideas with what you already have. Now, one more way that I'm going to show you how I, I use this a lot when I was, again, searching for my perfect uh, dream job from home and that is how to create customized cover letters that really make you stand out in a second, like so fast. So for this example, I'm going to use a random resume that I've downloaded from the internet. Actually, I took a course and it gave me a whole bunch of templates. So I don't know if you could see it. I'm just going to select it and copy everything here. Copy. So this is what how I'm going to prompt it. Okay, we are going to create the perfect cover letter for this job based on my resume. Here is my resume. And then again, just copy and paste it. So that's everything. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to put it right here. This is the job. So I'm going to, first of all, I don't know if this is popping up for you. So I'm going to turn it off here. And I'm just, you know, I'm going to go online. Yes, sorry. And just pick a, a random job from Indeed for kind of in the same field, marketing manager. And I am going to, can I, here we go. Sorry, I'm using a different mouse and it is so tricky. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the job description and paste it right there at the end of the resume and hit go. And it's gonna do its magic. So here it is. And of course you can enter your employ your address if you want to do all of that or your employer's name if you have it or you could do dear hiring manager but as you can see it'll say like i'm writing to express blah 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 right my background in blah, blah. this is all from that resume that i just 
copied and pasted from the internet, right? It takes your resume and your strength, it's so smart, and it'll customize it to exactly what that position is looking for. And it just creates a really great cover letter. And of course you could do this yourself, but that's going to take time. And if you're applying for a lot of jobs, that's going to be really time consuming and you get tired of doing the same thing over and over. So again, just here's the resume, copy and paste it. Here's the job that I am applying for, copy and paste it, create the perfect cover letter. And of course you can ask it to create the resume for you. You can ask it to proofread the resume for you, which is really important. And yeah, that's just one of the ways that I used it during my job search that it just it really helped and, and the cover letters were really great. And you can always adjust it, of course, but it gives you such a great jumping off point. And you can say like, please highlight this part of my experience and it'll rewrite it for you and make sure that that's highlighted. All right, so that is three ways that you can use ChatGPT to save you time, save you money, just sort of being like your fun personal assistant. Again, you can use the free version and do all of these things. If you like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know because I certainly could create more. And like I said, I am going to create a course talking about the homeschool side of it, as well as more bonus fun stuff like this, ways on how you can use it really to make money from home. I'm going to include a lot of that content as well. So I will leave a link in the description down below where you can check it out. All right, talk to you soon. I think you sorry, I messed up before my outro. Now, I think you would really like this video on ChatGPT as well, but YouTube's algorithm thinks you would like this video instead. So whichever one you choose, I will either see you there or see you in the comments. Talk to you soon. Bye.